Big win for you tonight. Uh, I mean, in a million years, did you see yourself coming in and winning by knockout? <laughs> Not really. The goal is try to keep the distance and find opportunity to take him to the ground. But, you know, I got to work the distance and work my hands, and it worked well even before I got to take him to the ground. I know that you guys have, you have to have confidence in yourself when you step in the cage. When a guy on the other side has a 50-pound weight <laughs> advantage on you, I mean, right. is that a little bit intimidating? Yeah, I was, I was a little bit intimidated by it. I just was really worried about him like putting me on the fence or being on top of me and using all his strength and weight. So I tried to avoid that. And in the beginning, we got a little bit on the fence, but I got to move out of it. So I'm glad it, how the strategy worked. What did the power feel like in there? Was it a little, uh, I mean, did, was it as powerful as you thought he'd be? Yeah, yeah, man, my ribs are hurting right now. My face is busted, you know, the guy's really strong. But it paid yeah. off when you took a gamble. Mm -hmm. You came in on short notice, a tough opponent, mm -hmm. but the future for you, I'm assuming mm -hmm. it lies at light heavyweight? Right, yeah, that's my division. You know, I took this fight on short notice. So, like I was telling before, it was a good thing that it, I didn't do the ideal camp for it, but at least I didn't have to cut the weight or anything. So that was good. <clears throat> now the cut, did, did that factor in psychologically where you're like, okay, now I really need to make something happen? Um, I was just worried about, you know, get stopped or, you know, the cut being on the way and, you know, like dripping all over my face and annoying me during the fight. But at least, it, you know, I got to finish the fight before it got too messy. Did that make you want to go ahead and finish it early? Uh, a little bit, yeah. That also made me want it more. Yeah. Staying at heavyweight, you excited to get to eat a little bit more? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, man, I don't. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with weight because uh, light heavyweight, I also don't cut that much. So, you know, I just I like to eat well. <laughs> Overall, what was your impression of the experience? I mean, being on the big stage, being in the UFC, oh. what, what will you take from mm -hmm. this? Man, I'm so glad. It's like, it's a dream, you know. I've been working my whole life to, to get here, and and my debut being a victory by and my first knockout, so it's like, it's a dream, you know, it's real. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you've done that before, you know. You put, put a little uh, extra on it with the walk-off. You know, Man, okay. yeah, I was, I think it's because I was so calm, and I, I saw that, I when he, when I, I felt that my hand landed on him, and then when he went down, and I saw that he was like really loose, and his arm turned when he was on the floor. I was like, "Oh, he's out!" And then I walked, and like a few seconds later, that was like, "Oh my gosh, I won! I win!" And then I started screaming and stuff. <laughs>